Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge exterior wall sconce banded with top plates. This is the medium one, the 35993. It's also a smaller size and a couple of larger ones. Why don't we get into details about this? This is 16 and a quarter inches overall height from the bottom of the fixture to the top of the fixture, 8 inches wide, 6.5 inch projection from the wall coming out. Mounting height is 8.1 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box. I want to talk about more about that. So I want to show you details um, about that too. And how we do that is if you're on the site for this, our site, Handmade in Vermont, and you're on the page for this fixture, look over on the right hand side of your screen midway down you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. Do me a favor and open that up for me. You're going to see a full parts list. You're going to see how this nice piece of glass, which is closed on the top, keep the rain out, open on the bottom so it doesn't collect bugs, just slides right in great piece of glass. I'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, it's also going to show you more about that mounting height. So some of you are going to have the question, can I mount this higher or lower than the center of this fixture? So the answer, the quick answer is yes, basically. So you'll see a picture next to me of the back plate, the back of the back plate, and you'll notice there are these walls built around top, bottom, sides that are allowing you to have a, basically a box against your building and you can run the wires anywhere in the back there which means that you can basically attach this to any point on there. Um, it just, it's a matter of are you going to attach it to your building itself or are you going to attach it to the junction box. That part is up to you but you'll notice there's enough wire there to get you where you guys want to go without a problem. Okay, So moving on from there, why don't we talk about what's inside of this for bulbs. Hubbardton Forge says that this is going to be maxing out at 100 watts and when they say that it's because they're talking about an incandescent light bulb from our long ago far away youth. Um, this is an incandescent bulb. This is an A19 just FYI. But you know if you guys want to do LEDs you can do whatever your heart desires for LEDs. The piece of glass on this, this is 4.15 inches in diameter this glass and this is like one of the biggest bulbs you're probably going to end up winding up with an A21 which is larger than the one that most of us grew up with. This is the A19 a21. You can find these as an LED up to 150 watt equivalent out in the marketplace like on Amazon or even in a hardware store and this fits beautifully in there. So the quick quick thing is you can do whatever you want as far as that goes. These don't generate a lot of heat and they don't draw a lot of current and um, you're good to go there. Um, I talk about all the time about color temperature with LED bulbs. I tend to like the warmer warmth of our friend here, the incandescent guy. That's 3000 Kelvin. If you guys like the whiter outdoor light, that's 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. When you're looking at a store or you're online, really keep and pay attention to those, those little details um, and buy what you guys want to buy for your desires for color temperature. The other thing is if you're going to be using this in a situation where you might want to dim it and there's no reason why you can't, put it on a dimmer. Uh, Put it on a dimmer and uh, get a dimmable bulb, a dimmable LED, and you're, and you're good to go there. You can also use a T10 bulb if you want to. So T10 is going to be the size and shape of a hot dog. It maxes out generally at 60 watts or 60 watt equivalent for LEDs out in the world. These are uh, made for exit signs, and it's a, you can find them in any hardware store. They're, they're good to go there, too. Also, if you're building a LEED certified building or structure or renovation, I don't think it's about renovations, but it's definitely about new buildings, LEED is going to let you get tax credits basically for using this kind of stuff. And that's going to be um, something that we can do too. So just contact me if you guys want to know more about that. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubbardton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting, and the reason they do that is because Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. 
They're all made out of aluminum for a reason because it holds up beautifully, it welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible, and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman, and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture, and they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, wire coming down. They run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell. And it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right? Where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen. Limited lifetime warranty for residential use. And check it out, and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a What's On Display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.